We all have heard of live streaming of videos, but how about live streaming automation? Sound interesting? That is what we are going to see in this video that how I can live stream the automations. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video where we are exploring the updates in the UiPath products. In the previous two videos of the series, we have seen how I can utilize the tags management portal, how I can enable the recording, both in the screenshot and in the video format. In case you are not aware of any of this, I have put both the links in the description for your references. In today's video, I am going to talk about the latest feature which is in preview. The name of the feature is live streaming and remote control. Now, what exactly is that feature and how I can utilize that? For that, I am going back to my orchestrator. I am into my cloud.uipath.com which is my cloud orchestrator of UiPath. I go to the automations and I have created one sample automation which is an unattended automation, right? To understand it better, let me first go and quickly show it to you that what exactly this process does, okay? So I have this automation, I'll go here and I'll simply say start a job, okay? And I'll simply start the machine, okay? Now, this is a unattended automation which I have written and as you can see the unattended automation is just to test new updates, it types something on the notepad and then there is a message box, okay. Now, till the time I go and I click OK on this message box, this automation is stuck here. Now, think this as a scenario of any unattended automation where you get some unexpected pop-up, your machine is hang, your browser is crashed or anything might happen. Now, your automation is stuck and in the jobs, you can see that, I'll just go to the jobs, you can see that this is running, right? Now, till the point somebody comes here and click OK on this message box, this would not proceed, okay? As soon as I come here and I click OK, you would notice that the automation went ahead and completed successfully, right? But if this is an unattended automation, which is running in a logged machine or a logged computer, how somebody would go there and click OK on that pop-up, right? Then the other features or the other way to handle was that we handle some exception, we take care of the errors, we apply some exception handling mechanism and that takes time, right? To solve this problem, UiPath has introduced this feature which is called live streaming and remote control. Now, whenever a job is in progress, okay, whenever the job is running, we can access the live streaming of the robot so that in case if there is anything which is immediately required with the help of our keyboard and the mouse, we can provide to the automation without pausing the automation. Sounds interesting, right? So to test this feature, what I am going to do is I am going to re-trigger the process, but this time I am going to do with the help of the live streaming. Now the first thing, where exactly can I configure this live streaming? To configure the live streaming, you have to go to the process, okay? Whichever process is you want to configure, let's say this one, automation unattended mode, you have to go to this three dots, click on edit, and here in the package requirements, and then you have something which is called additional setting, okay? This is the same place where we have enabled the job recording, which we have already covered, right? Job recording video and the screenshot. In the same place, you would have an option which says allow live streaming. I just go here and I click on this one. The description says that view a live streaming of the job, you can control it remotely as well. Okay, and I simply say it to enable and I click on update, right? So that way for this automation, you have enabled the live streaming. 
next what i am going to do is i am going to go to my different computer i would trigger uipath orchestrator there and we would monitor this automation on this machine okay so both of this screen i would run parallelly so that you guys understand that how this thing actually works okay so i have opened the cloud.uipath.com in my other laptop which you can see here right from this computer i am simply going to go here and i simply click on this guy and i say restart okay and i just restart the automation now here you would notice that the same automation has started on my computer it has triggered the notepad and you would notice that i have got this message box which says that i am a message box and you need to click ok here right for better thing i'll just minimize everything okay so this is my computer where you can see that i have this wallpaper tutorials by mukesh kala and this is a message box which i have to click ok right in my other laptop as you can see this robot is still running okay now the this one where you are seeing this wallpaper and this message box this is an unattended automation running on different computer from this computer now i have an option that i simply click on this button which is this i button okay and you have an option which says that open the live stream which is in preview i simply go here and i click on this button which says open the live stream and what you would notice that it is asking me to connecting to your live stream okay and as you can see that i am now navigated to a portal where i can see the same thing on my different screen okay and not only this i have this option here at the top which says take the remote control okay i'll just squeeze this a little bit and i'll select take remote control i have taken the remote control of this computer from here now whatever i am doing here the same actions are happening on my actual unattended automation right now to continue this automation i simply go here and i click okay from my second computer and you would notice that the automation was completed successfully this machine says that your job has stopped running i can close this window okay and i can just come back to the automation i'll say close and you can see that my automation was successful right unattended automation was successful which is done now let's talk about the setup and the software which are required to run this thing okay so for that i am going to go back to the official documentation of this live streaming i have directly pinned this link in the description so you can directly refer here it says that while doing a job in progress you can uh, stop the robot in execution to troubleshoot needed you can control the execution with the own keyboard and mouse right this we have already seen now important thing to remember the live streaming is only available for automation cloud robot serverless windows robot version 2023.4 plus right so you need to have the robot version at this one now how do you get it you simply have to go to your cloud.uipath.com and you have to download the latest version of uipath studio you just simply install it and you would be in the latest version okay now what are the prerequisite the first prerequisite is you need to download the tight vnc to download the tight vnc you simply have to click on this button it supports a version of 2.8.75 which is automatically downloaded from this button okay so once you have downloaded the msi it would look something like this just double click on the msi hit next here it is going to ask you for the license i accept the terms and conditions hit next i just leave this to the default setting which is typical okay and i just do not change anything here and i simply say next and install okay now i just say yes and now this is installing the tight vnc server on my computer okay now here you can leave this second settings board to do not change and i simply hit okay and that install the tight vnc on my computer and i simply click on this button which says finish
once it is successfully installed then you would see this at the bottom right this is how it looks like right now if i go back to my documentation you would see that how do you enable this feature we have already seen that you simply have to go to the process and enable it this is what it says you need to have some general permission such as you need to have the view edit and the create permission right to view the live streaming you can always go here when the job is faulted you can say open live streaming which we have already seen you can just click on this i button and there also you get this same option okay in terms of auditing you have this available that you would be able to see live streaming activities included from the audit allowing you to see live stream was accessed what time it was accessed and which user it has accessed right now remote control we have already seen that what exactly is remote control that simply allows you to access the live streaming right now you might face some issues when you are accessing the vnc and when you are accessing it remotely so uipath has got this troubleshooting page which is available here this is a very good page which talks about how you can set up this version and what are the issues you might face right now here you would see a list of errors which you might anchor while setting up just follow this instruction and you should be perfectly fine okay if your issue is not resolved here and you are facing more issues you can simply go to the uipath forum where this official announcement has been made and you can just put the comments in this one and the team should come back and revert you right but i was able to set up it so you should be also able to do it so that was about live streaming and remote control. I hope you like this feature. Just let me know in the comments with this. I would like to wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.